Hey, what's up? It's Meezy, and today I want to take the time to walk through the Microsoft Machine Learning course that just came out last week. Uh, let's get into it. But first, hey, if you're new here, my name is Meezy, and I am a software engineer, the coolest, hottest, smartest software engineer you will ever meet. Um, and this is my channel. You should totally subscribe. It's super helpful. Um, and currently, I am on a artificial intelligence, machine learning, data science kick. So that's why we are here today. Um, I... Um, I have been vetting a lot of resources. I've been like preparing my learning journey for machine learning. I've done a lot of like intro courses and just, you know, general general research and trying to figure out what I want to do and what I want my actual specialty in artificial intelligence to be. And so I do work for Microsoft, so if you feel like there's a little bit of bias here, there is, but also I love free resources, and I've talked about it a while back uh, when I talked about how to get a job in tech and like self-study versus going to college versus boot camps, like trying to find stuff to teach yourself, trying to find those resources to teach yourself that are free and good is very hard, so at some point you will have to pay for something, but um, when things are released by actual companies that are free, I always feel like those are going to be top-notch free products, especially if they go deeper than just surface level. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and check out this Microsoft Machine Learning for Beginners course. All right, hopefully this comes out good because this is my first time screen recording. Um, also, I am going to be looking up because my screen is above me. I was trying to swap them, it's too late. We are where we are right now. So when my eyes go up, you know, you'll know that I'm just looking at my other screen. All right, so to get to this page, you can go directly to this GitHub repo link or you can just type in aka.ms slash mlbeginners and it will take you to this github repo not reho all right here we go <laughs> okay so machine learning for beginners a curriculum something weird is happening in my house okay so long story short this was built by a group of azure cloud advocates at Okay, long story short, this was built by a group of Azure Cloud advocates at Microsoft, um, and this is a 12-week course that they, they intend you to do this in 12 weeks, so it's not a one month to fast money type of thing. You got to put in some work, you got to put in some ingenuity, you got to do some thinking, and you will get through it and know more about, uh, about machine learning. Okay, let's see. And they say they have another course coming soon called AI for Beginners. And then they'll also have another one called Data Science for Beginners. So they're just hitting every nail on the head. Um, but just for right now, we have Machine Learning for Beginners. Um, you can see the name of the authors here and then the illustrators and the student ambassadors that helped with this. All right, so they have some information for you on how to get started with this. Um, and then they have this cute little video where you can meet the team. If you click on it, it's a YouTube video. 100% encourage y'all to watch that. You can meet the people behind the course. Um, okay, so each lesson has all these things. A super cute sketch note, um, a supplemental video that you can decide if you want to watch, um, a warm-up quiz, a written lesson, project-based lessons have step-by-step -step guides on how to build a project. Um, there's some knowledge checks, a challenge, some supplemental readings, an assignment, and a post-lecture quiz. So, I mean, every single lesson has this, and there's 24 lessons. So, definitely take the 12 weeks to do this if you, you know, are doing it on the side. I guess if you have it full time, my guess is that you could, if you did one lesson a day and there's 24 lessons, then yeah, you could do it in less than a month. Um, so... You know, I'm wild enough to try that, but because I have so many other things that I have lined up, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Um, but let's just go ahead and take a look at... Oh, something that I wanted to say is the reason that I'm doing this walkthrough is because it can be so intimidating to like find the courses right. That's the easy part. That's the part that feels like you're doing work. You find the courses and you say, oh yeah, I'm going to start learning about machine learning and data science. You just go save all these courses and all these resources and then you never look at them um, just because it's somewhat intimidating. And so for me, what I started to do when I do stuff like that, 
before I bookmark or pin or save anything, I will actually go and just look through it. Like there's no commitment, there's no big deal. I literally just go look through it and see if it's something that I feel like I can handle because otherwise I just get stuck in this like hellhole of just like a massive amount of resources I can learn from and then I don't learn anything. But on the inside of me feels good because I mean, I planned to learn. So that counts for something right wrong. Um, so, we are just gonna go through this first lesson so i'm not really sure what the difference between lesson grouping and linked lesson is so let's just click there okay so this is the lesson so this has all four lessons this has four lessons on it okay so let's go back um and if we click this okay so this has the specific lesson that is mentioned in that line so this one says lesson one intro to machine learning and this is a lesson um oh got it okay so the grouping like all three of these are all four of these are the introduction so if you click this you'll find the okay got it got it got it so if you want to see all four at once you can see for the introduction to machine learning if that's all you need from this course you can just click through these and you'll be good to go one more point i want to hit on is that you don't have to finish an entire course i'm one of those people that's obsessed with you know finishing her rings or closing her rings and finishing everything 100 percent. but sometimes you don't need everything in a course um so feel free to pick and choose between the things that you want to learn or need to learn and use it for what it is so let's just go ahead and click into this first lesson this is the introduction to machine learning so as you see there's a video here from the ai show which i feel like they do this every week um I'm not sure, but make sure y'all check that out. Um, you can see the pre-lecture quiz. Let's take a look at that. Oh, geez. It, okay. So let's just do the pre-lecture quiz. Applications of machine learning are all around us. Sure. What is the technical difference between classical ML and deep learning? I'm going to say the use of neural networks. I've done a little studying, so I think that's the right answer. Um, and then why might a business want to use ML strategies? Uh, we're going to say both because nine times out of 10, if they give you the option to say both is both. I completed the quiz, but I don't know if I got the answers right. So I'm a little confused, but it's okay. All right, let's go back. So now that we have done the pre-lecture quiz, we're going to scroll through. This is actually a video from the free MIT course. Um, if you click on it, it's like an hour long, which I see why they said it is, um, it is optional because, wow, I, I'm definitely going to go watch this later, but um, yeah, that, that's a lot. All right, so it tells you about getting started with machine learning. Ah, 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 look at this. I need, to, I, have, I need to do this step. I need to configure my machine, so I'm going to check out these videos, but learn Python. That's the step I'm on right now. Um, wow, okay, I'm a little offended by this. Learn Node.js and JavaScript. I thought I was going to get to leave those behind, um, but thankfully, those are the last, well, JavaScript is the last language that I had used in Node.js, I guess. I'll have to look into that, but wow. Um, create a GitHub account. I think that's kind of a shameless plug, <laughs> but I already have a GitHub account, so there we go. And explore scikit-learn. Um, I think that's I think that this is like where people post their papers. Oh, I'm thinking about Sci-Hub where people steal <laughs> papers. Pretend like I didn't say that. Oh no, this is totally different. Okay, well I'm gonna have to add that to my bookmarks as well. But oh yes, and yes, I am using Microsoft Edge. Okay, um, I gotta make sure my stocks go up. But also, I really like using Edge. I love this concept of vertical tabs. That is just beautiful to me. Um, and so, yeah, if you haven't used Microsoft Edge, go ahead and check it out. Don't act like, don't act like we didn't all come from humble beginnings using Internet Explorer. We were having a great time. Google Chrome came in and took over, but I'm telling you, Microsoft Edge is that girl, and she's going to make a comeback if I have anything to do with it. Um, okay, so we will go through the rest. It has some information on what machine learning is, another cute little diagram. Um, okay, so here's a big thing that you will want to know about this uh, Microsoft course. So in this course, what you're going to learn is the core concepts of machine learning, machine learning history, fairness, regression techniques, classification techniques, clustering techniques, 
natural language processing techniques, time series forecasting, reinforcement learning, and real world applications of machine learning. But in this course, they will not be covering AI, neural networks, or deep learning. Now, for me, I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't know any of this stuff at the beginning, and I've done some intro courses that's covered a little bit of this stuff, um, but like I said, I have some other stuff I've been working on, and so I probably won't go all the way through this, but I'm also very excited, so I might try it anyway. <laughs> I am just all over the place, but anyways, um, just know that like these parts are not going to be covered in this and i think that ai is going to be covered by that course that they said that was coming and deep learning is probably going to be covered by that data science one that they said was coming and i bet you so is newer networks so i think in the future the advocates will release um things that cover these but for now this is all you're gonna learn baby all machine learning all the time all right, so why should you study machine learning? What are the applications of it? Um, we have a challenge, and this challenge from this introduction uh, lecture is just to write down, make sure that you know the difference between AI, machine learning, deep learning, and data science. And I will say this is something that I struggled with uh, because I would say, yeah, I really want to get into AI, and people would say, well, what do you want to do? And I'd be like, there's different things that you could do. I thought it was all the same. So in this introductory section they're going to show you all of all of the difference what's the difference between those words that's what you're going to learn in this one um and then there's a post lecture quiz i'm not going to take it because i've been burned um and i haven't done the lecture yet and i don't want to get it wrong so i'm not going to be taking that on this uh in this video but i will take it later and then there's reviewing and self-study to learn more about machine learning algorithms in the cloud i think this link is going to take us to a microsoft learn yeah so in a few of my videos i've told y'all about microsoft learn and how there's a whole bunch of stuff for you to learn um they literally cover everything if you go to i want to say it's learn.microsoft.com is like the the big address and then you get taken to like docs.microsoft.com but either way it goes um they have a microsoft learn course that you could take um, and this is all about cloud, but I am just going to focus on what we are in right now. Um, and then they have an assignment that says, get up and running. Let's see what that means. What do you mean? All right. In this non-graded assignment, you should brush up on Python and get your environment ready and able to run notebooks. Okay. So it wants you to take this Python learning path. And like I said earlier, I've been learning Python. And so I actually already have Jupyter Notebooks installed. And it looks like most of the uh, projects in this course use Jupyter Notebooks, just judging by... Oh, hold on just judging by this little baby right here so it looks like most of it is a Jupyter notebook so you probably need to learn how to use that in order to do this course all right let's just go through one more lesson was that pretty good Australian y'all let me know it was supposed to be Australian all right so this one was a history of machine learning I am in love with this graphic this is easily one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my life um check out these people right here because they're the ones that made it um oh you can see right here a sketch note by Tomomi um shout out to you Tomomi because this is just mm, this is how I think my notes look and they just don't even come close so we got another quiz um oh and this this module is all about the history of machine learning now this is something that i'm very interested in um so i'll definitely be doing these i'll be doing all the intro the intro blocks um i just don't know if i'll finish anything after that all right uh, so we scroll down we got a lot going on da, 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 da. all right there's a section about the ai winter which is something i actually am building a script on for my channel to talk about the ai winter because it was just a time where like almost nothing happened to progress ai knowledge um and if you scroll down there's something called an ai chill which i've never heard of um which looks like a like second coming of the winter but just not as bad i don't know um all right so and it has all this information you can see there's another video here this one is about the history of deep learning they have a challenge and then a post lecture quiz um and then they have some review and self-study and then the assignment is to create a timeline of the machine learning history 
All right, so I think as far as a general overview goes, I think we just did pretty good. We went through the first two sections of this course and kind of just got a feel for what it's gonna be like. Last thing I wanna do, let's actually jump down to the bottom, right? Because the first couple are always like, yes, I can do this, this is so easy, I'm gonna be able to handle this, blah, blah, blah. So let's scroll down to something. Let's let's scroll down to when it gets real. Let's do, hmm, let's pick something from regression. No, I don't like the pumpkin. Let's do something with music. Okay, exploring Nigerian musical taste. Let's check out this lesson. All right, so this is called Explore the K-Means Clustering Method. All right, I don't know what that means at all. We got the dad of machine learning, software engineering, everything AI, Andrew Yang. I think I learned finally how to pronounce that. Um, uh, we got a pre-lecture quiz. Okay, this doesn't look too bad. I know some of these words. Okay, create a box plot. Okay, there's some code here. It's not as scary as I thought it would be. All right, okay. And then we got some more review and self-study. All right, so this isn't too wild. So this, this is what I like to do. This really tells me how much time I'm gonna have to spend on the course and you know just kind of allows me to figure out if the course is right for me i think that as somebody who is just jumping into machine learning and trying to learn i think this is perfect i think it's a great introduction i feel like the only bad thing about this is that you will have to do some pre-work to get up to this so if you don't know how to code already then i think you should start at like learning python or whatever learning the code in general and then come to this this is not gonna give you that backstory on how to code and how to do this and that ah look at this another cute graphic but this video is getting long so i'm gonna go back ah y'all okay no i have to go through the whole thing even if i don't do every single exercise i'm going through this entire thing um, because I love it. Ah, okay. So <laughs> let's go ahead and wrap this video up. All right, so that wraps up my video about uh, going through the Microsoft Machine Learning for Beginners GitHub repo. This looks amazing. I am so excited to jump into this. I will share some of my journey along the way as I go through this. Um, like I said, you know, you can be your own judge. How much information do you want to take in? How how much of this course do you actually need to finish? You might not need the whole thing. You might not vibe with the whole thing, and that's okay. Um, take from it what you need and it's just a great starting point right because me I had no idea where to start I mean I started with a simple Google search how to learn machine learning and I went to conferences and I asked people what resources they use and all that kind of stuff and I mean that was that has been like an eight-month process of me get into where I am now. And so when I saw the people at Microsoft tweet about this last week, I was like, wow, only a few months uh, too late. It's not too late, but it's just like a few months late. I was like stressing and, you know, trying to find stuff on my own. And here it is, it's all laid out for you. So I highly recommend this. Um, and if you go through it, let me know, join the Discord. We can talk about it. The Discord will be linked below in the description and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.